Peggy 18. There's nothing better than encountering a monster and just having a hell of a time trying to kill it. And you finally triumph and you have that sense of accomplishment. You know, there may be 10 ways to defeat this enemy. One way is the best, and you figuring that out is what makes that exciting. I think one of the challenges in, in making a new fantasy world that's, that's unknown to players is it needs to feel familiar without being just a clone of things that are done before. Get it? Yep. All right. We've sort of taken a very dark spin on some of the classic creatures you might expect to find in a fantasy game. As if we didn't have enough troubles. As an animator, we have some great, great creatures in the game that are super fun to, to hand key. We look at references, spiders and alligators, reptiles, birds, all these things. And it's going on the stage and shooting all day in motion capture. Action. The studio here is great to just fire it up. You can take an idea motion capture it, process it, and put it in the game, you know, on the same day. Run for it! We're trying to give the player an experience of wanting to move through the areas and, and kill all the creatures that are stopping them, not just for the sake of killing the creatures, but to find out what's going on. Somebody please! Help me! We have a core creature, which is the Wargar. Their race is kind of what was underneath this town. And somehow, they got perverted. Something happened. They're kind of reptilian looking, and they we kind of just try to creep them out a little bit. So you look at tarantulas and just get that kind of feel. Their deepest desire is to become like spiders. As you fight them, you know, you start to see more and more strange variations on them, until eventually you come upon an infected and an infected has actual spider legs. You come up to him and you, you start to realize, hey, this guy's got magic, and he's also teleporting all over the place. So you're like, ah, oh, you're just about to shoot him, and he goes off to another place. Fast, threatening, super intense, kind of creepy, pretty effective. Great, more bugs. I like the Minotaur, because they charge the crap out of you. They're powerful figures, they have big chests and arms, but their heads are a little um, emaciated and they have some twisted, vicious looking horns. What we wanted out of a creature like this was something that was going to run and smash into things and just send the players flying if they weren't too careful. I'm loving the assassin right now. She's very kind of sexy, quick character that takes on the guys and, and pops through different environments. Basically, her head is on a staff, and she also teleports like the infected Wargar. What she does is she, she'll place this staff in the world, and you're like, you know, what the hell's going on? Next thing you know, this staff is fighting you, and she's fighting you. Anuvin is the dark force behind whatever badness is happening throughout the land. But it's not clear at all what it is that he's really up to. And we, we reveal that to the player slowly throughout the course of the game, and ultimately you find out who he is, what he is, and what he's up to. Good for you. When you walk into an arena, you have to take the time to look at the enemies that are there and what their strengths and weaknesses are, and then figure out what is your best strategy to go in there. It's not going to be the same every time. You're going to have to use some tactics and some planning. Because the best combat to me is one where I'm using my brain and I'm thinking of the trade-offs. Action, action, chaos, then you take a breather and you get a story moment and then it leads you on your path. But I think overall it's just this really rich experience. It's a, it's a great world to delve into.